My very story to the United States started in the year 1992. <clears throat> this is when they decided to overstay their visas here in the United States um, because they wanted a better opportunity here for their future. A year later, they found out they were having a little girl, my sister. Three years after that, they had me. And then 10 years later, they had my brother. <clears throat> Our upbringing was, was great. We had everything we needed, but um, we lacked that what others had around us. With that being said, I mean, when we went to school, um, we did not really fit in. We did not speak the same language as the people around us, so we felt like we were outsiders. We felt like we didn't belong. I think that this added, this feeling definitely takes a toll in our upbringing and it made us a little more anxious than others because I noticed that in the way that I interact, I, I hold back a lot. I, I'm pretty shy and I think a lot about the things that I do. And I can attribute this to my upbringing because we grew up with the idea that my parents could be deported at any second. And it's something that I've discussed with my sister and we agree that <clears throat> that definitely took a toll on us because we had no idea that that um, we had no idea if our parents were going to make it home from work or if my dad was going to be pulled over for um, not stopping at a stoplight for long enough and then they finding out he's not documented and they're having to take him back. That was definitely something very difficult to deal with and something that to this day I still think about because I know there's people that are dealing with that right now and it could possibly be um, deterring them from being successful or from living, living fully. <clears throat> um, being a first generation student is a little difficult because my sister didn't get the, the same opportunity that I did. She was not able to go to a university straight after uh, high school and continue her education. I find it very interesting um, that she got married a lot younger than I did, than I have, and she had a daughter, daughter a lot uh, younger compared to what's traditional here in the United States. So I find it interesting that the firstborn um, child of an immigrant family is uh, closer, closely tied to the customs of their ancestors because in Mexico it's much more likely for women to um, either not go to school or, or get pregnant very early or marry very young. Um, it's very interesting that the first child has those customs tied compared to me, who um, I went to higher education. I am still not married. I am still living at home with my parents. Um, although this isn't the traditional stereotype, it's um, because it's not the traditional stereotype, it definitely caused some challenges uh, for me. Not only did I not know how to navigate through it, but now I have the feeling that I took advantage of it because I didn't have somebody to push me there or uh, give me the rubric or the guidelines and to how to be successful. But I still did it anyway. And getting through it is it's extremely difficult. And um, the fact that my sister didn't get the opportunity, it, it tears me up. But I can honestly say that I could not do it without them. And knowing that I've gotten this far and I hope to graduate within the next couple of weeks, it's insane to say, it, I, I owe it all to them. And having them there, it's, it's everything that you need. Having a support system, 
and it's everything, that support system is completely um, a product of immigration. I think the fact that we lived through such isolation from society for so long, it created a bond that's unbreakable. And I think that can be generalized to the Hispanic or immigrant population as a whole because now we have a group of people that that have been through similar similar situations. We've each had to hide in a certain way. We've had to live in the shadows and adapt to a new world where you don't belong. So of course it's gonna make you make you bond with those around you, with those that feel this experience. I think that's one of the positive things that came out of it, right? Because you see Hispanics as such a family-bound, family-oriented um, community almost, right? It's a beautiful thing to be a part of. Um, my family's journey here has only just begun because now, now I'm going to make sure that everybody that comes in this generations to come that they have education and it's amazing to be the leader of that right to be the person that that founded not found, okay that's dramatic but to be the person that changed the outcome to be the person that stuck through it and now it's it's time to celebrate it's it's amazing